you had real fall like nice oh, there once michael jaco with unleashing intuition secrets and have lance shuttler from emf harmonize with me today we're going to talk about how uh emf frequencies affect you and how you can get yep. uh different products that will uh help prevent emf uh frequency interference for me it's been uh it's been really good because right when i was wanting this because i know it definitely affects me because i'm very you know being intuitive I, i'm into frequencies and, and uh information and stuff like that so i was really looking for something like this and lance just happened to contact me you know synchronicities are awesome when you're an intuitive so lance you want to talk about your stuff a little bit yeah so uh, a little background on myself. I went to the University of Iowa and I studied health science there. And I, I live here in Iowa City. Um, and really what wellness and health really became my passion about 10 years ago. Um, you know, when I was in, in high school, uh, it wasn't really a focus of mine. I was very active and into sports, but it just wasn't a big focus for me. And then I was fortunate to meet someone who really helped guide me and awaken my eyes to what health and wellness can mean to people. And so I really just took it from there. The schooling was good, but, you know, um, learning by trial and error and learning uh, outside of mainstream sources is really what helped guide me into a lot of the paths that I've uh, went down. Um, and the whole EMF issue really came about probably 10 years ago when I started learning about earthing and grounding. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've been doing that for close to a decade and uh, I, I do it as much as I can because I know it works, yeah, it helps, you, too. Yeah. you know, and it's, we're meant to be connected to the earth. Um, mm -hmm. So that's really what got me into all of this. Um, and I've worked as a nutritional health coach. I've worked in the uh, nutraceutical slash supplement industry for probably the, the past five years. Um, and then I was able to meet a scientist who, or get connected to a scientist who has created some very unique technology. And uh, the more that I learned about it and used it myself, I you know, really wanted to uh, create a company around this and help bring this technology out to more people. And so uh, we actually launched the, the company about two and a half months ago, um, and it's going extremely well. Uh, Michael, you've absolutely helped. Uh, your, your recommendations are phenomenal in the way that you promote them and talk about them. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I really appreciate it. And I, I know the people who um, I've, I've actually talked to a handful of people who've uh, bought and who were recommended by you and they appreciate the knowledge and information that you've given out. Um, yeah. And that, that's very beneficial, you know, cause it's easy to just pitch a product and not really have any heart in it and not really care and just, you know, try to make money. But if you believe in it, people can feel that. And, you know, I, I know that people can feel it from you and it's, it's showing for sure. That's great. Thanks for sharing that. Now it's it's funny we 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 have a lot of similarities. I'm I'm a very um, scientific analytical guy too, uh, you know, being a warrior and stuff like that. You think you know I wouldn't be a nature boy, but going into nature, um, I have always loved it ever since I was a little boy. I would uh, go on uh, I would go on sabbaticals, I guess you know, get out on, on weekends sometimes and just uh, live out uh, live out my, on my own uh, as a teenager. Uh, in the woods and stuff like that, just camp out there. And then I come back, you know, after the weekend was done. So it's something that, you know, that, that solitude, that beauty, that grounding that you're talking about has been very um, special and, and, and important in my life. Because I know that, you know, being in combat and stuff like that and um, being a Navy SEAL, all the high speed stuff that I've done over the years, the thing that really helped me was going out into, you know, the wilderness and grounding. And I even got into like when I was in Egypt, you know, I go barefoot on the sand and, uh, you know, when the sun rises, just that, that early, early time, I'd be in the sand and watch the sunrise, do a little sun gazing. So, you know, I, I'm like crazy into this stuff. I'm, I so believe in vibrations and stuff like that. And that's what has led, you know, to, to my work and being able to remote view and all the intuitive stuff that I, that I do. What, what kind of stuff have you, uh, have you gotten into as far as the vibrational field? So obviously you got, you probably could talk for hours on this. Yeah. Uh, flower essences. That's a big passion of mine. 
you know um do you know about flower essences oh yeah fantastic awesome yeah uh that that i feel is i call those nutrients for the soul mm. um i'm sure other people call it that as well so i'm not coining that term but that's the way i view them because they're it's vibrational medicine that you know western medicine and to, to some extent even herbs can't go that deep in terms of the emotional healing. I know that herbs can do some emotional healing for sure, but I feel like the flower essences with those very subtle high vibrations uh, can go to deep levels. Um, we can talk about it a little bit later, but part of the, uh, the nonprofits that we're using some of the profits to help fund mm -hmm. with the human trafficking stuff relates to flower essences, but we can get into that a little bit later on. Uh, but definitely, flower essences, essential oils, um, you know, Royal Rife kind of stuff. Nice. Um, Marcel Vogel, <clears throat> that's like kind of out, well, I, I don't know how close Lake Tahoe is to uh, the, the, the Bay Area, but uh, um, do you know Marcel Vogel? You know that yeah. work? Yes. That, that stuff is extremely fascinating to me. Absolutely. Yeah, he, he was uh, <laughs> quite a person. Um, yeah. How about you? What else for you? Yeah. So, uh, like you're just talking about the flower essences. I, I was just working with a client who lives in Hawaii and she put, um, some crystals and flower essence and, and essential oil in a little vial and sent a bunch of those to me. So yeah, I, I totally appreciate all that stuff and the, and the ability that that has for, you know, raising vibrations, depending on the, the crystalline structure and so forth. You know, in the pineal gland is that crystalline structure that I, that I talk about in all my courses. It's extremely important to keep that cleansed and uh, keep the calcification that can often happen on the pineal gland uh, clean and clear. So that's another reason why I like your EMF frequency uh, devices, because I, I can feel that because I'm, I'm around computers all day. You know, I'm doing research. Um, talking like we're talking, you know, like right now doing live programs. I'm on my phone a lot. So it was really concerning to me. And I try to keep all these things away from me. Like right now, the computer's away from me, the phone's away from me, you know, but you, you can't always do that. You have to be on these things. So I knew that there was a, uh, and I'd had some before, uh, but they were, they weren't as effective as, as yours are. What, what kind of, uh, what, what is the science behind that makes these so effective and not only effective, but absolutely affordable. It's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, the, the price on mo most of this stuff is just out of control. So you've really done a good job keeping it down. Yeah, definitely. So a lot of companies, so I'll, I'll explain why the prices are high for some companies. And this isn't a, you know, not me bashing them, mm -hmm. uh, but just, just the way that it is. Some companies will, create devices that throw off a ton of negative ions or electrons so right. to basically act as a free radical scavenger. So they're neutralizing those positive ions, those harmful oxidants. Um, and that's extremely expensive to do. Um, just simple as that. But our technology, we're doing things different in that we are taking, we're able to measure um, and capture the frequency of different uh, plants, minerals, vitamins, nutrients, and other substances, like we use shungite and just other, other substances. Wow. And what we do then is we take those frequencies and we take it with the scalar wave technology and, you know, scalar waves is what Tesla discovered. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's this other German uh, physicist who's living today named uh, Constantine Meil. And he has really taken that science, uh, to the next level, I guess you could say, but he's also made, made it more mainstream accessible. And what we do basically is we take those frequencies with the scalar waves and we program them into holographic disks. And then those disks, which you'll put on your phone or your device, um, basically the micro amounts of heat that are coming off of the devices actually activates those holograms to then impart those positive frequencies um, in, a, in a beneficial way. And so in terms of the EMF protection, what it's actually doing is we've shown that it 
is filtering out the harmful RF waves. These are radio frequency waves. And that's what's causing the damage to the DNA and, you know, having all the destruction. So like a good analogy is um, sunglasses. So if you go out in the sun and you put sunglasses on, it's going to filter out a certain spectrum of those light waves. Mm -hmm. You're going to still obviously be getting light, but it's filtering out a, a, a certain portion of that. And that's just what the, our technology is doing with the EMFs. It's filtering out the harmful RF waves. Um, and then, you know, we have the body relief discs that you actually put on your body. And those are really just for like um, promoting a healthy inflammatory response. Um, they're not like EMF wearable EMF uh, mitigating technologies, but it's more for promoting healthy inflammation. Mm -hmm. And we have incredible feedback on that. Like people, people feel it. Um, there was a lady out in Oregon. She, she told me maybe two weeks ago that when the fires were going on out there, she was having bad, she was having trouble breathing, mm -hmm. se severe, severe trouble actually. And she was even running like a, some sort of filter in her home to help with it and she had the body relief discs and then she just had the intuitive thought to put it right on her throat and she put one there and she said within like 10 15 minutes she could breathe substantially better mm -hmm. and it and, and it worked for the next handful of days until the fires uh went down a little bit so it's basically uh th this stuff is interacting with our dna like that's taken it to another level these scalar waves have the ability to communicate with our DNA. Yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. You're using pro it's, I'm even more impressed now, I, you know, talking with you. It's great. Uh, I was, you know, once, once I got it and I started playing with, it, I was like, wow, this is, this is definitely uh, a different level of technology. Now I can see why, because you're using uh, natural processes and stuff like that. So the negative ions you're talking about, that's that's one of the things that I get when I go into nature. I rebalance, you know, myself. I get around waterfalls, um, uh, super nice negative ions coming off the uh, the waterfalls. I, when I lead groups, I always take them to the waterfalls and do waterfall meditation. So, you know, oh. the negative ions are extremely important um, to rebalance yourself, uh, knowing that that's, you know, um, you're naturally making that process happen with your with your your product is incredible. So uh, instead of like blasting it out, like you were talking about, you have the Shuganite and uh, other other types of uh, essences and stuff that are that are doing it naturally. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. That's so awesome. Another thing, I mean, I I just love this because you know being a frequency guy and into uh, you know sending out my my consciousness and stuff like that, I, I totally understand where you're at and. Um, and what you're what you're trying to achieve for humanity, um, which is fantastic. Another thing, and I don't know if you've touched on it with anyone else, um, is the fact that when our frequencies are out of balance, we can attract negative entities, and negative entities will actually attach to us. And I, I talked about this yesterday in my um, one of my broadcasts, and also went on a, another show and talked about it. But negative entities can, um, you know, inhabit us, unfortunately, because that, I've been that's one of the things that I do. I work on negative entities as a as a remote influencer and uh, being in combat zones, you know, seeing guys that would, you know, uh, be influenced, would have a negative entity jump in them. I know that frequencies are extremely important. That's why I tell everybody, you know, you have to maintain a very positive frequency in your thought patterns and so forth. But when you have. EMF, you know, disrupting uh, frequencies all around you, uh, it can open you up, as I've seen, for negative entities actually attached to you. Are you uh, familiar with that or even, you know, talked about that before? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with it. I haven't really uh, gone down that in, in an interview, but I'm, I'm happy to right now because I have right. points on that as well. And I agree completely that, that that's definitely real. Um, and yeah, I mean, it just really comes down to the vibrational aspect. If we have a good vibrational field, we're good and strong and healthy, uh, that, that influence can't be there or even in a much less way th than, than possible. Um, but also like, this is 
kind of just, it, this is a theory. I don't know, um, but part of this is theory. So the first part with DNA, and I'll get into what you're just talking about. <clears throat> so these EMFs, we know that the EMFs uh, unzip and damage DNA. And it actually damages the process of repairing DNA too. So it's like a twofold mechanism. It's damaging the DNA, and then it damages the downstream effects to where it's harder for the body to repair. So, you know, DNA, so, okay, there was a doctor named Dr. Martin Blank, and he was a, uh, a physicist, and he had, he had two PhDs, and he led the International EMF Scientist Appeal, and it's, uh, he's not living anymore at this moment, but he, uh, he gave a, a talk to the UN, and, or he gave a speech, rather, and he was representing over 240 scientists who were uh, experts in EMFs. So to be in this organization, you, you have had to have published a paper on EMFs that was you know, peer reviewed and put into PubMed.gov. So this is like the most credible, highly established group that still exists today. There's 250 plus from 44 countries. But he published a paper showing how DNA acts as a fractal antenna. So it's literally like, it's like a wireless device in and of itself where it's attracting frequencies and it's picking up on that electromagnetically and then it signals to the body to create the, the biochemical downstream effects. And so my thought on that is I wonder because it's a fractal antenna because we know that those things, there's also you know Russian research showing how DNA acts as like, uh, like vortexes and like little wormholes, basically. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you wonder, does the damaging of that DNA open that wormhole or open that strand for then those negative energies to come in? I don't know the answer, but you know, it's a, it's a possibility. I, I would, I would think so because um, as, as you can imagine being CIA, I, I dealt with a lot of uh, terrorists finding them and, taking them out. So um, one of the ways that we track them and it's becoming, you know, everyone's talking about it now. It's uh, it came out quite a while ago was uh, through cell phone use. And um, I, I think that, you know, that it was actually leaving a signature on them as well. Uh, not just a cell phone. We're tracking a cell phone, of course, but um, there was actually a way that their DNA, like you're talking about was creating um, uh, these fractal energies and uh, these vortexes and stuff like and so forth. I, li I lived in Sedona for a while, so I definitely know what vortexes are. So it's very, very fascinating work. But um, I, 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 I think you're onto something there. That's 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 interesting because when I send a terrorist, when I work on a terrorist or someone negative, and I send them vibrational energy, love energy, usually, um, I know that it's having an effect because I can see the results of it later down the road, shortly after I start working on them. So um, they're absorbing my energy and it's whatever energy they have decided to take, you know, because I think we have those choices, whether we go down a negative road or a positive road, they are disrupted by my energy, my positive energy. So these frequencies that we're talking about are super important, not only to, uh, you know, maintain our own good vibrational energies, but not to have these vortexes where negative stuff can come in, like you're talking about. So um, some of these people after maybe even like, you know, from, you know, uh, childhood, which is, is fascinating because I, I went to uh, Australia one time and uh, talked to uh, a prison, the prison guards and the, uh, the guy that ran the prison and stuff like that. Um, they were saying that, all of all of the prisoners, like 95% of them, have been abused as children. So, you know, it, it creates like this this negative field, I think, in people. And uh, unless that's you know fixed early on, it's just it's just so foundational. It's it's hard. It's almost impossible to get rid of it. So early on, like you, you even talk about how children, you know, their brains are very their DNA is very susceptible. So you know all the kids now are using computers and phones and they're always on the phone, 
You know, yeah. so having having the EMF uh, frequency protection, especially for uh, young children, is super important at this point. Yeah, absolutely. It's a known fact that kids' brains absorb uh, radiation more than adults do, and yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's interesting. You know, when I was a kid, I'm sure you know. Obviously, the same for you. Uh, when we were younger, we weren't on, on these devices. I mean, I was you know playing N64 and things like that, but not anywhere close to what we have now. And those radiation levels were definitely not anywhere near what a smartphone or an iPad is emitting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and more and more people are becoming aware of that. I mean, I know it's still, it's not out there in the public consciousness uh, in a mass way yet, but it's growing, you know, and that's what's important. Like we need to just keep moving forward and keep getting this information out because awareness, as you know, precedes action most of the time. Oh yeah. And that's what, you know, that's what we have to do. We just have to keep getting the information out there so that people can make a conscious choice whether they want to do it or not. Definitely. And the, uh, now the EMF harmonized stuff that you guys uh, started is, uh, you know, I see on there, it's got three, four and five G. Now we look back in history and we see different times where, you know, different frequencies have come out like the radio and it seems to cause, you know, problems, um, for consciousness. What, what do you think that, um, as, as these, you know, higher frequencies are reached, how is that affecting consciousness? And what have you guys done to, uh, you know, supplement your product so that it, uh, you know, basically takes care of those new frequencies. So we're always testing uh, different substances to help, you know, and see, see their effects on higher frequencies. And so that's something, I mean, that's just the straight answer is that we're always testing new things and seeing how they measure up against uh, previous technology. And so we're always actively trying to push this forward um, like very fast. Like we're actually coming out with new body relief discs here in the next like week or so um, that are mu much, much stronger. And the ones that we already have already work really well. Um, so we're pushing that forward um, in terms of like the, the mitigating two, three, and four and how that affects consciousness. The way we view it is definitely those substances because they're filtering out those harmful uh, RF waves that it's having, uh, it's having a two-way positive effect. So first it's blocking the negative, and second, it's imprinting the positive, those beneficial frequencies. Um, you know, I think it's, you can't really measure, well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, it might be hard to measure and analyze what does consciousness look like and how do we, how do we have a, uh, a way of seeing, is this raising consciousness, so to speak? Um, but, you know, all the feedback we've, we've had, uh, people feel good. People f notice a difference. I notice when I'm, so when I started using the technology, um, I was able to be on my computer much longer without getting tired. Right. Um, you know, so so it's it's like an indirect anecdotal kind of way to measure that. But theoretically, I believe definitely, and I, I, I know you feel the same too, like these things are lowering or inhibiting the expansion of our consciousness the the harmful emfs and so everything we can do to protect ourselves and then also get out in nature as much as possible mm -hmm. that's you know great ways to raise consciousness absolutely and you know i saw you in another interview where we were talking about how uh, cancers have increased and coincidentally you know where cell phones are normally kept um, so that's, that's definitely what, like we're talking about, there's a damage happening to the, um, the DNA structure. So another thing that, that I'm curious about, you know, cause I, I, I've dealt with a lot of people that have PTSD, probably had a little bit of my, you know, myself there for a while. And I spent a lot of time out in the wilderness, about four months doing the Pacific Crest Trail and kind of recalibrated myself. So I know that, you know, um, being around explosives uh, for a lot of uh, military guys uh, flying an aircraft where, where there's huge amounts of EMF frequencies where the guys wear in the helmets and you know all that kind of stuff. 
and also even uh, um, NFL players, you know, they're getting hit. You know, we're, we're seeing all these, these brain problems when the guys are having PTSD type uh, symptoms. Um, one of my favorite was a charger. Um, can't remember his name right now. Uh, Junior Seau. Uh, yeah. he, he died um, uh, from PTSD and they kind of traced it back to, uh, you know, all the, you know, damage from, you know, you know, the helmet hammerings and stuff like that. And same thing I've seen, you know, with myself and other guys, because I used to be a, um, a breacher, basically I'm around demo blowing stuff up right next to it all the time. So a lot of, a lot of us, you know, suffer from PTSD. And so I'm looking at your product, you know, the, the MF frequency, the ones you got, you actually have that are wearable. And you were just talking about some of that. I know someone that was wearing one and, and her response was extremely interesting too, in a positive way. So do you think there's a, there's a, a possibility that, you know, the EMF frequency little wearables could be used for guys with PTSD or maybe, you know, around demolitions or NFL guys? Um, okay. So I have to, uh, I have to be careful the way I word this. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Good. Uh, okay. So uh, our products won't treat any diseases. Um, but the, what, what I can say is uh, it makes sense. And it's definitely applicable that these products, especially the, the body relief ones will help to promote uh uh, a state of calmness and clarity and ease and, and mental, mental ease, basically. Um, so that makes complete sense because that's what the frequencies that we're using, that's what's what they're designed to do. Basically another way to look at this is with the EMF, but also the, the body relief discs is that we're basically trying to signal to the body to stay calm and stay in physiological balance while in the presence of EMFs or with, in this case, with the body relief discs, let's say they have mental agitation of some sort, stress, um, these body relief discs are meant to help basically just balance out and promote a healthy, stable uh, physiology and state of mind. Excellent. Yeah, for, for me, being in uh, high stress situations, I, I started the Navy SEALs first hand to hand program. So being able to put myself instantly in a calm state of consciousness, which basically, you know, we're, we have uh, brainwave patterns that are happening in our brains all the time, you know, the beta, alpha, you know, theta, delta. So um, when we go into deep sleep, we're having, you know, different brainwave patterns of the thetas and, um, I would try to get guys to stay in an alpha brainwave state, which is a very relaxed state of consciousness. And I know that all of the stuff we're looking at, you know, like the internet and stuff like that is based in studying and all the stuff that we're all doing right now, basically puts you in a beta brainwave state. And I've also noticed that, you know, the frequencies that we're bombarded with will put us in that beta brainwave state. If you're in that higher, the high frequency beta brainwave state, you don't self heal. So like we're talking, you were talking about the flower frequencies and um, uh, oils, essential oils and stuff like that. All these different things, you know, help us, you know, get those nice, calm, relaxed um, frequencies. I can put myself in that state of consciousness instantaneously, but I've noticed quite frankly with your product, which is like super easy to put on, you know, it's just a little strip. It's, it's giving me that. I don't have to like force it. And it's like, and I noticed it right away. I was like, oh yeah, this, I'm, I'm definitely promoting this. And it's that, that calmness that, that I have to be in, you know, to be in these intuitive states, you know? So even though I'm, I'm researching, doing a lot of information, I'm still in that pretty much that alpha brainwave state, which is a very intuitive, you know, uh, brainwave state. Do, are you finding that as well with your, uh, with your products though? So, uh, harmonized because I love that word EMF harmonized you know it's a beautiful um, uh, name you guys have yeah thank you mm -hmm. uh, yeah I don't think that we've done any tests on uh, brainwave activity with it that would be extremely interesting and it would be you know even more conclusive proof too uh, I'll, I'll talk to them about that and you know see if 
see if that's on the radar because uh, I think that would be fascinating. Oh, absolutely! Wow, and I, I guarantee you because I can already I can already tell that there, it's going to be good results. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, no, we haven't, but again, I I would believe that it's doing that for sure. I mean, we, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's. I mean, people listening were like, "Wow, these guys are going down so many different paths." <laughs> um, <laughs> Great. Yeah, it, it is awesome. So, uh, what I mean, what else do you guys have uh, for the future? Maybe some brainwave uh, uh, functioning uh, activity studies, but uh, what what else do you guys have uh, in the future? So uh, soon, uh, I would say probably before the end of the year, uh, we'll have some sleep discs to help mm. people sleep. I mean, that I think that those are going to sell really well. Oh, and yeah. help people. Like that's the most important thing that these things are actually helping people. Mm -hmm. body relief discs um we haven't had any returns on them mm -hmm. uh, and we've just had actually just a, a couple returns on the uh uh the other ones but it's like everyone loves it everyone you know is is enjoying what they're getting from it um but sleep sleep discs we'll be doing um and then also probably sometime next year uh early next year um they're like little bands that you can wear with these holographic discs on. So it's basically like wearable wellness is what you could mm -hmm. call it. Or um, just basically to where these frequencies are on, on you all the time. Um, you know, cause if you're not near your computer or not near your phone or you're not wearing the body relief discs, then, you know, you're not really being impacted in a positive way by the technology, but we're going to have little discs that are placed into like a little like band and mm. you just put it on your wrist and that those frequencies will be, you know, interacting with you as long as you wear the band. Yeah. Like I said, that's, that's super important because if you're not in these um, like alpha brainwave state or less, and that's what a lot of drugs do. They induce, that's why you get all like groggy and stuff. They induce you into those brainwave states. So a natural product that, that induces it much, much better. And, you know, people, having trouble going to sleep. It's kind of the same thing, you know, get out, getting out of your thoughts, you know, getting relaxed. And if you have a product that kind of like, you know, helps that along, man, you're just going to blow it up with that one. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a, uh, there's a lot of people that I talk to and work with that uh, want to see more stuff as far as like uh, using it. Uh, like we're, we're talking about wearables. Wearables are huge for um, special forces guys. Have, have you looked into uh, any military applications for it? Um, not that I know of. Um, that's another good question. I'm going to definitely uh, take that to uh, my business partner and scientist and we'll see. Uh, but I'm, I'm wondering what, what is coming up for you? Like, what do you think this technology could be used for military wise or intelligence wise? Well, def definitely the uh, the brainwave patterns like we're talking about. There's, you know, I, I, I'm definitely on the cutting edge of that. Uh, there's there's a few people that are remote viewers uh, that don't talk about it. But, um, you know, there's there's people that got out of the military uh, in the CIA where it's not used anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, it's uh, it's definitely um, you know, something that would uh, help everyone because like I'm trying to, like I try to teach every, everyone can easily be a remote viewer. You know, it's just, a, it's just a le level of consciousness. And a lot of people have trouble, you know, getting their, getting themselves to that. It's, you know, they're very analytical and just can't relax and stuff like that. So a, a good wearable and in conjunction with, you know, just the easy process of, you know, sending your consciousness out to uh, do a remote view or remote influences like it would be huge. For me, remote viewing and influencing saved my life and other people's lives tremendously. So um, there's lots of different wearables out there as far as like um, uh, in increasing uh, abilities. Yeah. So uh, that, that would be kind of interesting if you guys uh, moved in that direction a little bit. And, uh, you know, the military, you know, has, has those budgets where they can like, you know, you know run, you know, fast with this kind of information and then it's just kind of filters down to us civilians you know we get a little bit of that you know on, a, on the downside but you know it's it would be kind of interesting to see you guys go in that direction 
and, and I don't know if that's that's going to happen, but um, that's that's definitely I see, you know, from my background, from what I what I've been involved with, you know, definitely a possibility. I know a few people that are that are going that direction, and they're they're getting some good results. So that's but incredible. You guys are pretty cutting edge. Yeah, we should definitely talk about that uh, sometime soon because I think that's fascinating. Yeah, um, definitely. Something that I know DARPA is doing right now is they're actually doing studies looking at the effects of EMFs in relation to uh, specifically fighter pilots because there's just been an increase in crashes and, you know, just uh, lack of cognition happening um, over the past, specifically like three to five years. Um, and so they're looking at it. They're actually doing, you know, government funded studies on these pilots and seeing what these EMFs are doing. Cause what I was reading is that the magnetic fields in those helmets are about 10 times stronger than what's coming off from the earth. And so it's like, you know, it's literally like jamming the electrical system in the brain. So if someone crashes, it very well easily could be because their circuitry literally just got jammed up. Uh, I, I would not doubt that. So yeah, your, your product would definitely, uh, be very valuable in that that genre i think so um it's and it's kind of like you know what we were talking about it's same thing with um you know especially when i was in the, the seal team special forces we had helmets that had a lot of stuff going on in them too so uh and i i remember getting a little little you know punchy sometimes you know after wearing it for many hours depending on what we were doing so yeah i you know i'm, I'm a real i'm real big into consciousness so i was able to like you know keep myself under wraps a little bit and because a lot of us have, you know, been under stress and we know how to deal with stress. Most of the guys I work with, you know, did fairly well with it, but some guys, you know, the younger guys, not so much. So uh, definitely it, this would help those, you know, get those guys to that point where they start to, you know, uh, get, get control of their own consciousness. Um, just, just like we've been talking, you know, you're talking about going into the, you know, the sleep, um, and uh, the wearables and stuff like that, as far as like, you know, healing and stuff, same stuff, you know, it would be, it would be fascinating to see that, you know, moving that, that, that genre going into the brainwave states is huge. Uh, you know, I've, I've taught this for, you know, almost 30 years now, way before anybody was even, they're like, what, <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, if you guys want to be a real good fighter, you have to be able to go into an alpha brainwave state. And they're like, okay, chief. <laughs> And then, okay, wide angle vision, breathe, you know, then <laughs> hit move. And so, you know, all these different things, you know, that I, that I was teaching back then, you know, um, now guys are starting to really comprehend. So getting something like this where guys don't have to, you know, go into the woo-woo, the woo-woo's happening for them, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's a great point, Michael. Uh, do you think uh, that, like from the top down military wise and intelligence wise, like are they, uh, when they're designing technology that are being used today, do you think they're taking into effect the EMF issue and its relation to, to the brain specifically? I really don't. I mean, they're, they're probably somebody on the backside is like, this is probably going to screw these guys up, but this is what they want. They, they're, they're not going to wait for something different or better. Yeah, given what they want, you know. So, like like yourself, like me, me and you, we're we're like, <clears throat> well, there's there's could be some issues here, you know, it could be crashing planes, and stuff like that, and they're like, oh, we don't want to hear that. It's like because that's what happens. It's you know, it's a huge bureaucracy, but if you can get, you know, get a foot in the door, it can make a huge difference. And if it's something that's simple, cost effective, and guys can be using it, you know, pretty quick, which I think this product is definitely has that potential, then uh, it's it. It could be extremely valuable because everybody wants to see the military man, woman, you know, do really well. Uh, you know, so protecting them uh, from these EMF fields, which they're exposed to as well, is uh, very important. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's a good point. Like, it's great for the military, but then also, I mean, really anyone else who is looking for peak performance or peak cognition or consciousness because. I mean, it's, it's interacting with the electrical system and our, the, the electrical part of our nervous system. And, you know, it's pretty basic science when it, when it comes down to it, like 
this stuff is going to be interacting with us and impacting us. So, you know, if you want to be in peak, a peak state of mind or a peak state of, uh, you know, physical strength or, you know, physical output, you need the right brain waves and you need the right frequencies flowing through your nervous system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these uh, energetic fields, you know, sonar, radar, all these kind of different things that are also, you know, see whales and dolphins that wash up on the, up on the shore. A lot of people don't know. A lot of times that's from uh, sonar from submarines, you know, communicating back and forth under there. Sad, but you know, a uh, little known thing. And the same thing with radar, these, some of these radar burst EMF and um, high frequencies that are, that are sent out sometimes, you know, screw up the birds, you know, they're, yeah. Cause we all have that, that tracking within us um, uh, cells within us. And uh, if that gets messed up, same thing with these EMF things and you get off kilter and get um, discombobulated. So that's, that's probably what's happening with those pilots. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Um, you know, I've had some feedback from some people who will take the body relief discs and place them right on their third eye. Mm. See, see if they notice a shift in awareness or, you know, see, see how it might impact them. It'd be interesting to study that in a measurable way as well. If you could design a study that, you know, was looking from, for some sort of outcome physiologically or just emotionally and, you know, see what comes of it. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely give you some feedback on that. Cause now that we're talking, I understand what your product is a lot more. I, I, I feel like I can be the guinea pig a little bit easier now. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Cause my fields are like perfect. You know, I don't, yeah. It's working on the phones and the, and the computer. I'm, I'm kind of skeptical about myself, but now I feel real comfortable with it. So that's a, that's awesome. Glad we had this talk. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Um, with the flower essences. So one, one thing that we do is we'll take a portion of the profits each month. And right now we're donating it to a, uh, a crisis center that we've, I've, I have vetted this crisis center and, uh, Make sh making sure that they're actually doing what they're claiming to do. Cause you know, with human trafficking and, and that stuff, a lot of these big organizations are actually involved, which is extremely sick. Um, but this place they're helping people and we take part of those profits and donate it to them. But what we're going to be shifting into is taking those profits or taking those allocated profits and uh, buying flower essences and essential oils and getting them directly to those survivors of the trafficking or rape or sexual abuse, because, you know, the, the therapy they're getting, it's all necessary. You know, it's, I'm sure helping many people in, in some ways or many ways, but again, the flower essences and essential oils, like those are soul nutrients and they go to the emotional part of us that, you know, no pharmaceutical can do. Um, and it's, it's hard for herbs to do that as well. And, you know, it's a big passion of mine to be able to help bring that issue of trafficking to an end. And then, you know, the next steps after ending it is helping those people heal. And I, I know that the flower essences and essential oils play, can play and will play a huge, huge role in that. Mm -hmm. So I want to really bring that out there. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been promoting that too. I didn't know you're in the flower essences because that's, that's really important. Cause I, I think a lot, unfortunately of these uh, victims uh, get um, negative Klingons, you know, like we've been talking about and those flower essences have a vibration, which they don't like. So they go away. Yeah. That's, that's another benefit that, um, cause I, I sage my place all the time and I have the flower essences. I have essential oils. Um, I have uh, misters that are putting out frankincense and myrrh. So all the, all these things are very important, not only for, you know, cause they smell nice and they look nice, but they also create a field of vibration, which you're obviously extremely um, knowledgeable. Of. That's awesome. Very good. Yeah. Um, there's also something too. I'll, I'll send you this article, Michael, and uh, we can put it in the description if you want, but it's, it's, article I wrote about, have you heard of the agaricon mushroom? Yes. 
Okay, so it grows specifically in the Pacific Northwest, really only in, in the Pacific Northwest. I think there's one other place in, in the Mediterranean that it will grow, but um, basically the native peoples there, they believed that that stuff, uh, so the shamans, what they would do is they would take those big conks of the mushrooms and they would carve them into uh, basically faces and they would put them over their graves when they would pass because they believed it offered them spiritual protection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in this, in this article, the agaricon has been shown to, uh, um, have antiviral properties. Um, and the government studied government, government funded studies, uh, actually military purposes. It, it's too long of a story to go into right now, but, it's in the article and it's very fascinating stuff. And basically I propose the thought. So in the physical world, it's known that this mushroom has antiviral properties. The native peoples believed that this was spiritual protection from basically etheric viruses or archons, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like as above, so below. Um, so I, I take that stuff almost every day for, you know, the physical and the spiritual benefits because it's um, very powerful stuff. It's the most, uh, it's the rarest, rarest mushroom in the world. Mm. It grows to about 70 years old. Wow. Yeah. Um, but just going along with what you said with the, the frequencies and the vibrations, like that's just another tool that people can look at, um, you know, to help them in physical and spiritual ways. Yeah, that's phenomenal, Lance. So that that's uh, you know, kind of goes in hand in hand. What you know, I'm I've been into uh, ever since a, I was like I think like eleven or twelve years old. And I started you know, looking at my diet and you know finessing finessing my diet and making sure I was eating the right things and the right supplements over time. So uh, that exercise and having a very um, positive outlook, all these things are very critical. But you know like you're talking about these etheric, these uh, other dimensional realms that we're surrounded by. We, a lot of times we don't see them, of course, but we know they influence us or hopefully we know that they influence us. So that's what the EMFs does. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we're becoming more aware of all these different things and how to protect ourselves. Um, uh, your, your information has just been phenomenal. You know, thanks for sharing it. Yeah. Is there, uh, anything else you want to share before, we uh, wrap it up. No, I think that's it. Um, but if people are interested, please use Michael's link in, in his description for EMF Harmonize because he will get credit for that. And, you know, he, he deserves all the credit for, you know, any products that you guys buy. So please use his link. Just click on it. It'll take you right to our website and it'll track it in a way that Michael will get credit for, you know, any sales that come through. Um, we have bundles on there. Uh, you can also request uh, unique bundles. So there might be like a specific number of devices that you have in your home that doesn't match with the bundles that we have. Just send us a message and we can put together a bundle for you. And uh, yeah, it's no problem. Um, but yeah, thank you, Michael. This was awesome. Yeah, we went down some pretty interesting roads. I, I appreciate your, uh, your, your wanting to get together. Yeah. And yeah. when, and when you, when you mentioned, I was like, wow, really, <laughs> like, this is going to be fun. So it really has been, I, you know, I'm sure we'll probably uh, stay in touch and, uh, and keep uh, sharing information. I, I look forward to that. Yeah, so yeah, like, uh, like you said, um, your information, I, I've been putting out pretty much every night. Uh, cool. It's the links are down in my comments area. So you can go down in there and, um, you know, hit where it says about me. And then I, I have uh, the link in there. I just pull it up. It's real simple. And, um, uh, like, like I've been saying, I've, I've gotten a lot out of it and it's, uh, it sounds like a lot of people are, you know, jumping in on it. I'm, I'm super pleased to hear that because it's definitely beneficial. And, um, I look forward to seeing some, some of your products in the future. Sounds like you guys are going down some really cool, cool, uh, avenues for, uh, human consciousness and stuff like that. Absolutely. I will definitely keep you updated, Michael. We'll, we'll Excellent. Excellent. Sure. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, man. This was fun. This was good. Yeah. I really like talking about this deeper stuff too, because um, this is what this is what's important, and this is where we're going in this world. 
uh, you know, I know you know about all the stuff that's going on, um, all, all of the all of the dark stuff, and uh, we're gonna have to get to the point once we start this collective or once we deepen this collective healing, going down these really deep and oftentimes dark rabbit holes of like, okay, how how did this planet become so infected and so uh, controlled and so, uh, uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess basically infected is the way to say it. You know, mm -hmm. we've, we've been hijacked as a species and, you know, this is, this is just one tool to, to help uh, with that process of, you know, detaching ourselves from things that no longer serve us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, after being sealed and, you know, CIA for, you know, 35 years combined, I was like, we're always looking for that secret weapon, you know, when to have that cutting edge, you know, so that we're a little bit ahead of everybody else. And your product is definitely there. And, uh, and, and it sounds like it's going to keep going. So when we talk about, you know, on the other side of this darkness, there's going to be all these technologies to come out. You've been able to slip this one out. So I'm like, I'm, I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, when they got through, that's good. So let's, let's hope it stays that way and it keeps, uh, keeps improving like you were talking about. It. It's going to be great. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the way that I see it because those skater waves have um, properties of over unity. Um, and if people don't know what that means, you can look it up. We won't go into the the depths of it, but over unity is, uh, yeah, that that stuff's coming. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Lance. Thanks. Thanks again for your time and uh, uh, everyone that's watching. Make sure you go down and click the links. They're going to be down there, and uh, you know, get yourself some of these products. Just try them out. I think you're going to be very pleased. And if you get a good result, definitely you know, send them back some some uh, good feedback. Because uh, that's as a startup company, as, as they go forward, they're going to need that information to really take things to the next level. And working together, you know, um, consciousness, consciousness wise, uh, we can help each other and uh, improve everything going forward. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. This was really awesome. All right. Thanks, Lance. All right, All right everybody. We'll see you. Uh, see you.